Better Business Bank. In today's business notes, it is St. Patrick's Day, so what better day for the arrows to be green and pointing up? And it was an up day on Wall Street today. Normally, the gains made today would make people smile, but after yesterday's major sell-off, well, the gains almost seem minimal, but it was an up day. Investors were encouraged today when the Trump administration announced plans to try to help ease the pain of the coronavirus on individuals and on American businesses. Some of those actions include making more money available for short-term lending, also extending the tax deadline by 90 days for some Americans, and a proposal for the government to send checks to the American people. There would also be help for American businesses. We already know that the airline industry has been hit significantly. Now comes word about the hotel industry. Marriott is going to lay off 10,000 workers worldwide, and it's going to close some hotels. The Hilton Hotel chain says its occupancy rate is down to 15%. Now, one of the economic reports released today also shows that Americans pulled back on spending last month. The Commerce Department reports that consumer spending was down a half of a percent in February. That's important because consumer spending makes up about 70% of the American economy. And with that kind of information comes word of possible recessions. The president admits that there is the possibility of one, but he also says that he's focusing right now on conquering the virus and that after that is done, he believes the stock markets and the American economy will become roaring back. On the subject of the stock market, the Treasury Secretary said today there are no plans not to open the stock markets. He said there might be some plans to try to curb trading hours, but that is just still right now just talk. So overall, it was a much better day today on Wall Street than it was yesterday. Here are the closing numbers. The Dow was up more than 1,000 points or 5%. The Nasdaq surged ahead 430 points or more than 6%. The S&P 500 posted a gain of 143 points, a gain of 6%. A good day overall.